Good day, good evening, good morning, <laughs> welcome is what we're trying to say. Welcome to Alternative Lifestyle. It's great to be here again, Pastors Jesus and Mary, with you on Alternative Lifestyle. Hello everybody, trust you're well. I hope you're having a great day. It's been a great week. We thank God for the week. It's coming to an end. Thursdays are good because it means the next day is Friday. So, mm -hmm. so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. But we're just glad to be here tonight to share with you again. We're still on the Family First series. Like we said last week, uh, we'll probably be on this for another maybe five weeks. Yeah. And then um, the Family First will move to the Family First platform, the Family First page platform. So uh, we encourage you to like that page, the Family First page, because um, when we move on to another topic on alternative lifestyle, we are going to continue sharing on the family because we think it's a, it's a lifetime of learning. Okay. It's a lifetime of learning about the family. We haven't even talked about kids yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you bring kids in the mix, that's a whole different ball game. It changes it, doesn't it? Yeah, that's a whole different ball game. So we we are committed and really dedicated to um, to families because we keep saying it that we really really believe that the family is the building block for any community, Absolutely. and especially in the world we live in today. You know where the the whole family structure is really being challenged and being um, attacked mm -hmm. i would say i think it's quite important that we we especially those of us who believe in jesus who believe in the bible that we keep our eyes focused and not allow ourselves to be derailed or distracted um, and begin to just condone and accept things that are being thrown at yeah. us so it's, it's yeah. quite important that we cherish our family units and our, our homes because god god cherishes those units um, but today we're talking about something really exciting, something hot, mm -hmm. something spicy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you like your food spicy, <laughs> we're talking Hello, about something Jora. Hi, Jora. So we're talking about something spicy today, Jora. Mm -hmm. And we're keeping it real. Absolutely, we're keeping it real. So we're talking about sex. Mm -hmm. Doesn't sound very churchy. That's the thing. That's the first point I wanted to make. Actually. I think because it doesn't, very it doesn't sound holy at all. No, it doesn't sound holy, and um, for a lot of people, it's a real struggle to even say the word. Yeah, yeah. it's like it's taboo. It's almost like a swear word. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's like it's and when the pastor people, wants to talk about it, makes it even worse. People want to go and see just to be sure that he's still in the Lord. He's still, he or she is still in the Lord. Pastor be talking about sex. If when people are dying and no, going no, to hell. Not just, not just that even. I mean, if it was, um, you know, a call girl talking about sex, it's acceptable. Yeah. But if a pastor wants to talk about sex, it's like, what? You shouldn't, you shouldn't be talking about that. That's not holy. Yeah. And I think that's the first myth that we really need to, um, to just destroy. The, the, the idea that sex is something dirty, is something unholy, is something secret, it's something that you shouldn't talk about, you shouldn't, you know, just do it and pretend you didn't do it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, do it and pretend you didn't do it. So that, that's, we, we want to deal with some of those things today. And we, we say we, we want to talk about how we can ensure that uh, sex in marriage remains pleasurable and not uh, painful. Yeah. We, we, we want to ensure it's, it's a pleasure and not a pain. And um, so we want to encourage you to stay with us tonight. Um, when you join in, do let us know where you're joining in from. We like to connect with you in that way. We need to, like to know where you're joining us from. And if you don't mind uh, as well to share the video on your wall so that uh, your friends can join in. And I'm just going to take um, a minute to do that right now. Yeah. It's all right to it's all right, it's all right to talk about sex. It's all, it's all right to talk about it's all right to talk about anything really, as long as obviously you know you you keep it within within the, within the scope of the of the scriptures. Yes. You know, you keep it within the the scope of, of biblical uh, uh, doctrines. You know, the Bible says every good 
and perfect gift, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yes. You know, uh, uh, comes from above, and and and, and sex is a, it's a gift from God. Absolutely. You know, it's a gift from God, and really, we shouldn't be too timid to talk about it. You know, talk about it um, even. We don't get our kids, you know, well, yeah, I mean, they talk about it to them in, in schools. In, yeah. in ways that you would not even like. Exactly, that. exactly. So mm. it's it's not wise to pretend it doesn't exist. Yeah. It's and if you, if, you leave it to, if you leave it to the world to teach your kids, they will teach them what you don't want them to know. Absolutely. And if you don't fully understand that sex is a gift and not something that you do under the cover, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, then you will not enjoy it, and if you don't enjoy it, then it will impact. It will impact your relationship. Yeah, because it's 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 part. It's an integral part of a union between yeah. a man and a wife. In fact, that's how you consummate the union. Mm. Uh, even in, uh, under the law, if you don't consummate the union in that way, it can be declared void. You know, so it's uh, it's important. But the first point I, I think we want to make is the fact that sex is a gift from God to be enjoyed within the context of marriage. Within the context of marriage, Absolutely. that is what we believe. And, yeah. This is alternative lifestyle. It's a Bible-based program. So yeah. all the principles we talk about here, all the principles we share, they're all based on the Bible. We adhere so, absolutely 100% to the scriptures. Yes. And when we're talking about marriage, we're talking about a marriage between a man and a woman. Absolutely. You need to make that clear. You need to make that clear. That is still the only marriage that is recognized by God. Yes. Because that's the one he instituted. Yes. Uh, so ma sex is something to be enjoyed between husband and wife within the context of marriage. So yeah. if you're not married, we're not talking to you tonight. Mm -hmm. But maybe we are. Something for you to bear in mind yeah, yeah, for yeah. when you get yeah, married. Yeah. But not something for it's you to practice. It's all right to be prepared before yeah. the day. Not know. something to be practiced uh, right now. I mean, I've mm -hmm. heard people say things like, uh, but if God gives you the urge, if God, if it's God that gave you all those desires, then how can it be wrong? The truth of the matter is God gives us all sorts of desires. You, right. you don't, as a human being, just go to the middle of the street and begin to do your private business because you have a desire. Mm -hmm. You go and find the appropriate place to do that. So there's, there's an a time, appropriate time and a place, time and a place. For Yes. So the fact that God gives us all these hormones and all these feelings and all these urges doesn't mean you just succumb to it and you just let go at any mm -hmm. time there's a, there's a time and a place and sex the time and place for it is within the context of marriage Absolutely. after you've gotten married Absolutely. so that's the first thing we Absolutely. want to we want to say i think the other thing we want to thank you very much bless, in, bless, in. Thank bless you. you thank you for joining in this uh this, this on this program um the other thing we're talking about was is very important, I think, and I think it's really the foundation for everything we're going to talk about mm. today. The fact that sex is not dirty. No. It's not a dirty word. It's not a swear word. It's not a dirty act. <laughs> it's actually a holy act. God gave it to us. It's a holy us. act. He wants us to enjoy it. Yes, and it's it's holy. It's you know, pure. marriage is it's honorable perfect. in all, all in all. And then it goes to the bed. Yeah. It moves immediately to the bed, and the bed undefiled. So sex is not a bad thing. It's not something you should feel uncomfortable about, because I think that is one of the reasons why uh, some of us don't perhaps enjoy it. And we're going to break it down tonight. But once we get past that hurdle of understanding that sex is not something you should feel uncomfortable about, yeah. it's not something you should feel timid about mm. or ashamed no. of then it will be easy to communicate with your spouse. Yeah. And we're going to be talking about communication. To communicate and to explore it, yes. you know, to understand it, to enjoy it, because God has given it, God, God has given it to you to enjoy. And, you know, food, for example, God has given us food to eat. And mm. we pay a lot of attention to all these things because we, 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 we should enjoy food. Yeah. And, and if God has given us sex, we should understand it. We mm. should cultivate it. We should explore it. And we should fully enjoy it. Yeah, I like the word explore because you get the example of food. You know, somebody was saying, you know, with beef, for example, you can roast it, mm. you can you can boil it, you can barbecue it, yeah. you can suya it. You exactly. can, <laughs> you can <laughs> shawarma it. You can shawarma it. <laughs> there are lots of ways that we cook beef. So we explore. Yeah. With food, we explore. Mm -hmm. In the same way, just as we feel comfortable exploring with food, 
that we don't just stick to, to one root and say, this is what you do with uh, potato, this is what you, the only thing you can do mm. with this. In the same way, we should feel comfortable Absolutely. to explore um, with, with sex. So let's take the taboo, let's take the dirt out of it. It's a beautiful thing. Hello, Sonia. Hi, Sonia. Great to have you join us. It's a beautiful thing that God has given us, mm. and it's not something to be, uh, to be ashamed of from. or to shy away yeah. from. So, I, I hope we made that clear. Yeah, it's very, very important. So you should feel comfortable to talk about it to your spouse. You should feel comfortable to to express yourself mm. in, 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 in that physical act with your, with your spouse. Absolutely. But one thing we, we've realized in our many years in pastoring, talking to different people and counseling, sex, even though it's a beautiful gift that God has given us to enjoy within the context of our marriages, appears to be one of those areas that cause friction mm. between man and wife. Yeah. When you ask people what is the main cause of problem in the home, sex, money, children. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so the question is, if... Um, and all of those things God gave it to us. And all of those things God gave to us. So if sex is supposed to be something beautiful, something for us to enjoy, why then is it one of the main causes of friction in the world? I think it goes back to what we've been trying to say all along. You know, if, you don't, if you don't understand it, you probably will not appreciate it. Mm. And if you don't appreciate it, you will not fully maximize it. And if you undermine a thing, it will not, it will not benefit, you, benefit you fully. So once you understand, for example, sex is a gift, not just to me. In marriage, for example, sex is not just a gift to me. It's not just a gift to you. It's a gift to us. Yeah. And therefore, we have to deal with it from that corporate point of view. If this thing is given to us both to enjoy, how best to enjoy it? You may not start a conversation like that, but it's probably one of those conversations that needs to be had. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you know, how, how are you enjoying sex? You, <clears throat> uh, what do you think about our sex life? Um, how can we? If you're happy, good. You know, can it be better? If yes, what can we do to make it better? You know, talk about it, those mm -hmm. things. You know? mm -hmm. And and, and so, well, one of the reasons why people uh, why it could be a problem is where one party is not getting enough. So usually, That's usually, usually the, the man. It can be. You, I say usually, yeah, not yeah, only, all yeah. the time, but usually the man yeah. feels like they're not getting. Especially in the early days of, of, of your lives together. I, I don't know, but I think probably. It changes. Especially in the early days? When I say that, I mean in your, in your youthful days. Maybe as you get older, maybe it changes. I have no okay, idea. okay. Well, no, I'm talking about, um, you, you know, in marriage. Yes. So you, you're married and. You know, for whatever reason, the man feels like he's not getting enough. I mean, yeah. obviously, in the initial days, you know, when you're, uh, you're on your honeymoon and when there are no children, it might be a different matter. Yeah. But, you know, carrying on in, in several years down the line, because we're talking about how we can ensure that it remains a pleasure, yeah. not a pain. Mm. And knowing that marriage is for the long haul. Yeah. We're not talking about five years, we're not talking about ten years. We're there's, talking no time, about, there's no time, uh, there's <laughs> we're, no time. We're talking about here, yeah, <laughs> ever after. Yeah. And so we, we, we want to put ourselves in a position where you're enjoying sex with your spouse and your spouse exclusively for that length of time. Yeah. I mean, I've heard people say things like, how can you, how can you, you know, be in a relationship, yeah. in a monogamous relationship with one person for so long. Yeah, how can you say that? To yeah, me. yeah, you know, this happened. You eat this one particular kind of food for the rest of your yeah. life. And basically, what they're trying to say is come on, you know, after Explore. a while, it's going to get boring with one person. Yeah. And so, what we're saying is no, it doesn't have to get boring yeah. with, with one person. Yeah. So, so, those are the things that we want to talk about this evening. Yeah. So, so, if one party feels like they're not getting enough, like you said, the first thing is to find out why. Yeah, communicate to each other. Why is why is the other party not wanting to have it as often as the other yeah. person? And sometimes it might just be as simple as understanding that we all have diff we all have peaks and dips. Mm -hmm. You know, both male and female, yeah. depending on what's happening with your hormones. Absolutely. You know, you could 
be on, as they say, on heat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, 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 and I think that's right. No, no, it, there are times it, you want to do that. It's natural. Well, want it more, and there are times you want to do that. Yeah. For whatever reason. Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's natural. Yeah. I, I think it's it's the, the workings of the hormones. Yeah. But if we understand that, so yeah. for example, if the wife understands that, and then understands that he is just in that place mm -hmm. where he wants it, then maybe you won't feel like, oh, I can't give it because I'm not in that place. Yeah. If you go back to what you were saying earlier about making the priority pleasing one another yeah if we make the priority pleasing one another and understand that this thing is a gift for to both us both. of us yeah then you won't you won't just wait until you want it mm -hmm. i think mainly for the women because uh, that's a big thing with the women isn't it you know i'm not in the mood or you know i'm tired yeah. or whatever sometimes you might not be in the mood but you get yourself in the mood yeah to please your spouse yeah. i think that's the that's the point it's, it, it is important to to see it that way and and um you know in as much as we're not trying to in a way suggest that you know just do it for the other person that's not what we're saying we're not mm -hmm. saying you know always do it for the other person you know you have to you have to find a way obviously i'm not saying exclusively but you have to talk to, to yourselves why am i not enjoying sex with, with my spouse it could be the man or the woman why am i not enjoying sex and let your spouse know don't be too um don't be too shy to to hide it away if you're not enjoying it let them know it's great but it could be better you know don't don't, don't just say well the reason I don't want to have sex with you is because you're, you're, you're cracked. Well, I'm <laughs> <laughs> well, certainly not, not saying that. But also, also, it might just be being more. Uh, I think I'm jumping the, the gun. I've got my, my points late, later. Where is it? Uh, um, it might just be understanding that, well, it, or rather, it might just be being able to explore each other's bodies while you're having the act anyway right. so rather than well maybe not rather than but in addition to having this chat mm -hmm. because the chat might be it might come across as being um how do i put it it might make the other person feel comfortable or feel inadequate right if okay yeah if i say oh i'm not enjoying sex the other person immediately might just get on the defensive now if you're joining us for the first time tonight we want to just right remind you we like to get interactive with you so please feel free to comment on anything yeah we say if or, you agree let us know if you disagree feel free to say as well yes right. and if you have a question uh on the basis of something we say or off the back of something we say please feel free to ask the question so i was saying the other person might just get, get, get defensive get and feel like, oh, are you saying I'm not doing something yeah. right or whatever? Yeah. But if we if we develop that uh, habit of communicating, yeah. even in even the in act, the act okay. yes, even in the act, so something you enjoy, for example, something you enjoy. Hi, Rod, uh, Dimeji, yes. great to have you join us. You, thank, you. thank you, thank you. Uh, so, so you know, you could tell them what they're doing that you're enjoying. That you're enjoying. Or even what they're doing that you don't enjoy. Yeah. So you can say, no, yeah. don't, don't do that, don't do, do this, that. or whatever. So yeah. I think it's just that having that freedom. Yeah, it's like when you take your car to the mechanic, you don't just leave it to the mechanic to, to just figure out what, 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 what's wrong with the car. Mm. You know, you communicate with the car, you know, this is what I want you to do to the car. I want you to service it, I want you to change the ball, I want you to do this. And and in marriage, in the sex, in the sex act as well, Communicate to each other, you know. I like that. I like that more than that that other one. Yeah. You do that. So, you know, just be free because I did like we said at the end of the day, you are one. Even though two parties, but you are actually one and you're you know, you're maximizing the the, the, the pleasure yes. that you get from it. Mm. Yeah, so switch the light on. Switch the light on metaphorically yeah. and literally. Well, literally. <laughs> no, it, it may not be so bright, but no, no. You know. what, what I mean is switch the light on metaphorically yeah. in the sense of you know, demystify it. Yeah, expose whatever it is, communicate, yeah. be open in your communication, but also switch the light on physically because yeah. some some of us think that sex always has to take place in the dark. Under the cover. You know? The, no, it doesn't have to put some soft light. And that's the other thing we create can do. Create, scene, create, right? create the right atmosphere. Create, a scene. create the right atmosphere. Make 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 it a make it a celebration. Don't just rush into it. Okay, there are times you rush into it, and that's fine. And that's fine, yes. That's fine, you know, whatever, whatever makes you both happy, that's, that's okay. But make make an effort, at least once in a while, 
to, to, to create a to make a big deal, you know, you know, like, with you the know? candles, the music, yeah, yeah. you know, make an let, effort. Let's young. Otherwise, he's gonna get monotone. Mm. I think. Yeah, oh, definitely, yeah. definitely. That, that's the other thing. Like variety is the spice of life. Mm -hmm. That's the other thing. So, yeah. so uh, cre create variety. Yeah. You know, yeah. let your room be like a haven. Yeah, not a study. Mm -mm. You know, I personally don't like computer in the room. <laughs> because, yes, yeah, because if there's a computer in the room, that's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to work on yeah, the computer. Yeah. Let your bedroom be a, a special place. Yeah. Like, you know, when you're going to your bedroom, it's, you know, it's just different from every other yeah. part of the house. Definitely. And, and, and brothers, you know, once in a while, just, just make it wonderful. Mm. You know, uh, uh, petals, you know, get petals. You know, spray it on the bed, you know. Like, I wouldn't mind petals. <laughs> I wouldn't mind petals create, at all. Create, yes. Yeah, create, create, create a scene for it. Yeah, so we're talking about, you know, ways, some ways we can deal with that problem of one party not enjoying yeah. it. So we talked about communicating with one another. Not yeah. necessarily having a roundtable meeting, but just, you know, expressing your needs. In a express, sensitive way. Yeah, expressing your needs, telling them what you like, the parts of your body they want, you want them to touch. Let them know what turns you on. It's important. Absolutely. Let them know what turns you on. Absolutely. You might not even say it, but the way you respond will yeah. let them know that you're really enjoying what they're doing to mm -hmm. you and you know you want you want them to keep doing yeah. it. So yeah. it's quite important that we um we, we, we communicate with our spouses in that way. Yeah. We already talked about making a determined effort to to please one another. Absolutely. So uh, feel free to explore one another's bodies. Now talking about exploring, um, but maybe we'll leave the controversial bits to the end, <laughs> so we don't we don't we don't mix yeah. it up. We talked about creating the right environment, but I think we should also get rid of certain myths. Okay, okay. Certain okay. myths, because one myth, for example, is that the Both man and the wife have to come come together, together. I mean, I at come, the same I mean, time. Yeah, which and others in at the same time. Like a I synchronized dance. Yes. <laughs> Boom. Yes. Yes. It, it happens in the movies. In the movies, in Mills and Boone, romantic novels, yes, it, it happens. And it, it happens in real life yeah, as well, yeah, yeah, yeah. of course it, it happens, yeah. but not. it doesn't have to be every don't, time. Don't make it a condition. Don't make it a condition of your enjoyment or your pleasure that you and your uh, husband or you and your wife have to reach an orgasm at the same time. So if that doesn't happen, mm. one party feels like, oh, you've, you've let me down, mm. or you've failed or whatever. Uh, absolutely not. Mm. Um, it's okay for one party to to reach their satisfaction before yeah. the other. Yes, yeah. it's, it's and it doesn't and there is no order to it. Yes, by that I mean it doesn't necessarily mean the man has to come first and then the woman comes. Oh. You know, just be determined as a person. I'm going to give my wife the best experience yet, yeah. and if the wife makes the same determination. I'm going to give my husband the best experience. You're both fine. Absolutely. You're both fine. Absolutely. And you can, I mean, you can determine I'm going to hold back, you know. Yeah. So, so, so for example, the man can say, no, I'm going to hold back. I want you to yeah. um, to, to, to reach your peak first before yeah. I come. And yeah. it's it's fine. That, it's that's why we fine. say it's important to communicate with one another. Yeah. Hi, Tom. Thanks for Bless joining you, in. So we said, don't, don't, you know, forget that myth about yeah. both parties have yeah, to don't, don't, reach out. Yeah, yeah. And whatever, whatever myth you may have about, you know, what sex has to be like. And yeah, because and sometimes we get it off the wrong places as well. Mm. Movies we've watched, yeah. you know, which <laughs> I'll never forget. A friend of mine said she watched this movie, or somebody was talking about um, pouring oil all over the table and all of that and, and she said if it was somebody like me what i'm going to be thinking about is who's going to clean that mess <laughs> who's going to clean yeah. all that oil yeah. at the end of the day yeah. so it might work on tv but it might just not, it be, might not practical. be practical for you <laughs> in your house practical. but if it works for you whatever works for you fine it's not fine. a thing to drown yourself in oil absolutely that's what you want. absolutely not yeah. and another myth is about positions mm -hmm. and i was thinking about that yes there's yes. not long ago there was this guy who said god told him that mm -hmm. men should not i mean women should not be at the top wrong nonsense that's not god <laughs> <laughs> that is not god at all that's not god at all you know anybody could you just whatever position works for you whatever position you enjoy the better or the most go for it do i mean if, if a woman is pregnant for example it's going to be a bit difficult i think <laughs> 
<laughs> to lie so on your back. And, yeah. yeah, it's going to be difficult. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's another myth. There's yeah. no holy or unholy position. Um, the only thing we'll say, obviously, is for me personally, I think there's some things that we shouldn't um, we shouldn't delve into, like anal, anal sex. Well, that's, that, that's something that's, I wanted us to talk about as well. Yeah. That's, that's quite sensitive because, um, you know, uh, the, 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 definitely the anus was not created for, for, for sexual insertion. Um, I think it's too dangerous to, 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 to delve into, into that area. And you may just contact diseases and stuff mm. that, 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 that you're not willing to. You know, I've, I've heard Christians, some Christians say, well, they, when, when they started oral sex, it, tra it transformed their, their sex life. No, no, well, no, oral sex. Sorry, not oral anal sex. When sex. They, when they, when they, when they, um, yeah, when they, when they ventured into anal sex, it transformed their, their sex life. I think, I think um, that's the learned talking. Well, and I think it's dangerous. I it think it's unhealthy. And I don't think it's biblical. Yeah. Like you say, you know, God gave us other parts of our bodies specifically, yeah. you know, created the woman in a specific way, yeah. designed her in a specific Absolutely. way, designed the man in a specific way, Absolutely. so they can mate in, in, a, in a specific yeah. way. They're, yeah. they're parts of our bodies that he created like that. So Absolutely. I don't think, like you said, the, 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 the anal... The anal passage is not meant it's not for, for, for sexual that. so I wouldn't yeah. go there. Yeah. I mean, oral sex is a different thing. Yes. That's another myth that we would like to, you know, just yeah. destroy. Some, some people don't feel comfortable yeah, with it. Yeah, some people don't feel comfortable with it. I mean, now, let's, let's, Sister Shade, thank you so much for joining us. Yes, bless you. Bless you. Let, let's just say, obviously, we're not saying you have to. No. We're not saying you have to no, 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 engage no, no. in oral sex. That's not what we're what, saying. What, what works for you? Yeah. You, have, you both have to be comfortable with what you're doing. Yeah. Because there are certain times where something is not wrong, mm -hmm. but if one party is not comfortable, comfortable with it, then it's not going to work, is work it? Work with they're, them. They're gonna <laughs> and be patient. And be patient, yes. Yeah. They're going to feel like you're, you're, you're making them commit yeah. sin. And then it takes the pleasure out of yes. it. So, um, personally, I don't see anything wrong at all with um, oral sex. Uh, which yeah, is, I, I've heard people try to chase people away from it by saying, well, contact uh, mouth cancer or stuff like that um, they should go and yeah. read songs of solomon when yeah. he's talking about drinking from the cistern mm -hmm. and all those things i wonder what he's talking about yeah you know it's, 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 the, the way i say it is if i can kiss your lips there's nothing wrong with me kissing your ears in or any your, part of your chest body. or other parts of your body yeah. so so that's how i see it but yeah other people might not be comfortable with yeah. it and like i said like we said that's that's fine just both of you just need it. to educate each other mm -hmm. or, until you you're both comfortable yes, with whatever. Yes. The only one that I would be strictly against, like you said, is anal sex. Absolutely. Because it just doesn't sound right. God did not pray that vent for oh. sexual insertion. Yes. Not at all. Yes. Not so so are there boundaries? Yes, some. Yeah. Uh, but but mostly not really. Between the husband and the wife, you should feel free to explore and and uh, uh, and enjoy each other's bodies. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. You know, uh, maybe while we're talking about the, 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 the do's and the don'ts, <laughs> you know, something we should talk about at this point is uh, uh, when people introduce um, okay. pornography. You know, I remember um, a, a guy saying to me that, when does it become wrong? You know, he, and it was a sincere question. When does it become wrong when you get, when you, when you get a movie to watch to enhance your sex, mm -hmm. your sex life? Um, isn't that isn't that right? And it does make perfect sense. But the fact of the matter is, you're watching two people who are not married, you know, and having sex. You are one on one. You are you are funding the pornographic industry, which which they say is a very rich industry. So you're you're funding an illicit uh, 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 sector. Uh, uh, you're, you're you're funding an illicit thing. And two, you are you are um, you are agreeing with adultery and fornication. It is just all right and and also you also you're you're inviting a third party into your bedroom. Yeah. That's the way I see it. I, I you know I actually I'm writing a book about this, which is going to be out soon. Mm. <laughs> you're inviting a third party into your bedroom. Yeah. That's what you're doing because mm. it's almost like you're having an orgy. 
So if you want to be really honest with yourself, that's really what you're doing because you're participating by watching them and allowing them to stimulate you sexually. Yeah. Because that's the only reason you're watching them. Mm -hmm. Allowing them to stimulate it you sexually so that wrong. you can now um, have sexual relations with your spouse. Basically, what you're saying is we're in a foursome here. Yeah. Which is clearly, yeah. clearly, clearly wrong. If you need help, if you need help with your sex life, one of the great things you can do, like we said before, talk to each other. Understand your bodies. You know, bodies may look alike, but they are different. I'm talking about even two men. Mm -hmm. You know, you, a man, you know, a, a, a particular man may like certain part of their bodies, are touched in a certain way that will give them, you know, the great, the great pleasure. And the same for the woman. Ask your wife, or you know, like we said, it doesn't have to be a conversation like mm -hmm. that. But however, you're going to have the conversation. Maybe during the act of, of, of intimacy, talk to each other. Oh, it could even, it could even be that they stumbled on that, on that, on that area. Mm -hmm. Say, oh, I like that. I like that. Stay there for a while, and, and you know, just continue to talk to each other. And there are Christian books. That you can you can buy that will give you tips on you know on things that you probably never yeah, thought of. I, I actually remember our pastor when yeah. we were um, doing our pre yeah. premarital counseling. Yeah. I remember our pastor. He's a medical doctor, obviously, yeah. and he had that background. I remember him actually giving us specific yeah. tips, yeah. which I found really helpful yeah. to be honest. So yeah. it, it is possible to get those tips yeah. that you can explore yeah. again to see if it works for you mm -hmm. because it might not work for you but something else as well because i just i really believe in the connection mm -hmm. i believe that when uh, a couple are having difficulty or having problems the, the the main problem is is a lack of connection mm -hmm. you can call it whatever you want to call it but basically they are no longer connecting yeah. with each other yeah because obviously with sex there is a physical act yeah but it's we all know it's more than just a physical act That's true. and if you're going to sustain an intimate relationship with somebody it's not just that physical act mm -hmm. that is gonna help sustain that intimacy yeah. so I think for example what we're sharing uh, the, uh, the last episode if you didn't watch it we won't encourage you to watch it we're talking about how to develop intimacy in your relationship mm -hmm. I really believe that that is a big way to enhance yeah. our sex life yeah because if you do all those things that we talked about and even more and you're able to maintain that connection, yeah. that deep yeah. emotional connection with your spouse, yeah. it really will translate yeah. into the physical yeah. physical act. Yeah. And it makes it more meaningful, more pleasurable, more enjoyable. Yeah. So um, while the act is obviously important, because you, like we just said, you, you could just get turned on, you know, and you just need to, to have it, which mm. is fine. Mm. But we're talking about a sustained thing yeah. with a, with one woman or one man over a, a long period of time it's definitely more than an act Absolutely. it's a it, there has to be that spiritual emotional connection yeah. that uh, both of you have to share yeah. yeah and 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 again you know I, I, um you know some people may find this really strange you know what there's actually nothing wrong with praying about yourself so. oh definitely yeah you know? if you no, can no, talk no, to no. god about parking space because I, I remember a few, a few times I've, I've said to God, God, I need a parking space. Mm. So if I can talk to God about parking space, there's absolutely nothing wrong with talking to God about sex. Something as important as sex. sex, you know, talk to each other. I'm sorry, talk to God about sex. Pray, pray that God, I, I, I want my wife, you know, I want my wife to have a great time. You know, just give me, give me the strength or whatever it is, you know, just help us both to have a wonderful time. Yeah. And you will. <laughs> he, yes. cares about oh, yeah. he cares of course mm. he does and even even just praying about god birthing in you a desire mm -hmm. for your spouse mm -hmm. yeah by the way we're not talking about uh praying before you start you say oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 by your head. in jesus name by well. this act we're about to <laughs> <yeah, it does. laughs> Honey, we said, what about words? Uh, no, so, uh, no, 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 no. I don't feel that. Like, I feel you're going to kill a lot of fire. <laughs> you close your eyes. Wait, this is serious. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. <laughs> no, but seriously, you can pray. You can pray that God will fuel your romance, that God will fuel your, your sexual and appetite. Your oh, yeah, your sexual appetite for your spouse, that God will fuel it. Because God will really uh, answer prayers like that. So, um, 
And yeah, what let me see. Go on. I'm checking my notes to okay. see if I've left anything else. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, something else. Don't pretend. Right. Don't pretend. You know, in the, in the movies, that's what they do. That's what they do. They just they act. act. They, they're actors. So, <laughs> what's the, they're actually not lying. Mm-hmm. They're actors, you know? So, don't, you know, I, that's, you know, it goes back to what we were saying about it's just wrong watching those things because it gives you fake information. It does. You would think that's how it, it ought be. to be or it should be. Mm-hmm. And then when your spouse is not responding the way that other person is responding, you, you feel, wrong with them. yeah, you know. You're not actors, you're real. And be real with each other. Yes. Be real with each other. Yes. Don't pretend, mm. don't pretend that you're <laughs> some fake orgasms. Mm. There's no point, you know. It's it's more important that you communicate yeah. with one another so you can truly enjoy it. And it takes us back to what we started with, which is that important point of getting past the uncomfortableness, if mm. there's a word like that. <laughs> getting past that place of being uncomfortable talking mm. about sex. It's not a dirty word. No. It's not unholy. Yeah. It's okay. As I, I think maybe especially for women. Okay. Because, yeah, I think so. I think people just think, oh, how can she be talking about sex? Mm. You know, it means that she's loose. It means that okay. she's... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. so, so, men... So maybe, maybe that conditions women not to want to talk exactly. about Exactly. Men, right. allow your wives to, ex- in fact, encourage them, yeah. encourage them to express themselves. Ask them, yeah. ask them questions, ask them how, how they're enjoying it. Yeah. Ask them what they want you to do mm-hmm. to them, to make them enjoy it more. Yeah. Free them, release them. You you will enjoy your, your sex life better if both of you are well, free. You will enjoy yourself more when you enjoy the sex. That's the way yeah. I say it. You yeah. know, my, my pleasure comes from giving you pleasure. And, and and if you feel like that, or you're determined to be like that, then we're going to have a great time. Yes. Let, let's talk yes. about some some challenges. Okay. You know, you know so in, uh, I've heard, you know, I've heard, uh, I've heard, and I've read, you know, of instances where women, at least I've read about two women. This, these people are not Christians, but you know, it, it would it would suggest that it probably happens even in Christian homes that these women don't enjoy sex at all. They don't want it at all. They don't want it almost 100%, almost like 0%. You know, I remember this woman, uh, she was an apprentice. She said, you know, every time the husband comes in, she would literally go into panic. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, maybe it's going to touch me now. Maybe it's going to want it now. So he said that she's going to come up with headache or it's going to come up with I'm busy, or, you know, just come, come up with something. You know, two cases extreme cases like that yeah. you know or, or, or in cases where you know it's, again just whatever right you know it's, it's more about women you know, they just find it so painful it's not that they don't want it but it's it's almost a painful experience mm-hmm. and because of that they don't want it as as mm-hmm. often it's almost it's almost it becomes something that they almost right. put up with mm-hmm. and which shouldn't be the case and and if that be the case get help Absolutely, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Because yeah. I'm wondering, with the first example you gave, yeah. is it that that's how she's always been? Because yeah. surely, yeah. you know, it could be it could be a spiritual situation. It could, it could be. be. It could or be. It's not it, normal, though. It's not the bottom it's line. You know, the bottom line is it's not normal. It could be because of anything. It could be because of experience they've had in the past, uh, something they witnessed, something they went through, something they uh, uh, um, heard of. You know, it could be anything. That yoke needs to be broken. It needs to be broken. You need to, you need to find a root for it. Find the, its root. It could be a spiritual root. It could be an emotional, emotional root. Yeah. It could be a physical root. Mm. Find that root and deal with and it. Deal with because it. if you don't deal with it, it will kill your relationship. Relationship is not all about sex, but sex is a big, it's a big part, part of, of, of relationship. Of course. And if she's if she's married, then clearly it means she wants to be in a relationship. Yeah. This woman, this woman was an extreme case. I mean, again, like we said, she's not a believer. She actually gave the man the, the, the liberty to get a girlfriend. Wow. Yeah, that it was it was that bad. Yeah, that is bad. Yeah. That is serious. Yes. That is yeah. serious. But she, they can get help. Of course, they can get they help. They can get help. They Definitely. can get past that. Yeah. You know, talk, talk to talk to professionals, talk to your doctor. Even medical, I was not going to say, even talk medical, to to, but for example, those who may experience the pain, I know that there's some people who might not get, um, who might need help, you know, 
lubricants to, yeah. moist, to moisturize themselves and things like yeah. that. So that basically, there are things that you can do. Yeah. Whatever the, the hurdle may be, yeah. whatever the situation may be, you can get psychological help, you can get spiritual medical help, help, you can get medical help. There are things that you can do. The bottom line is, let's not bear it. Don't, 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 don't bear just, it. Don't, be, don't just bear it and yeah. say, well, I'll manage, I'll manage. Yeah, don't and then, manage it. And then you can't take it anymore. Mm. The next thing you're gone, and you say it didn't work with that one. I'm yeah. going to go find me somebody else. Yeah. You know, love the one you're with. Yeah. Work at the one that you're with. Yeah. It, it, seriously, that's the way I say. Don't look outside. Yeah. Love the one you're with. Yeah. You know, uh, when when people say, for example, how can you, how can you? I mean, I remember this person saying to me, "Well, you like the same dish, Julius. You like the same dish. I don't like the same dish. You know, mm -hmm. and and." One of the things that I heard as a young kid that I, that stayed with me all my life up till now is by the grace of God. I'm not saying that's what's kept me; it's, it's God has kept me. But one of those things that I heard, you know, it's like uh, that this man said to me: "It feels the same. Way. It feels the same anywhere you go. Mm -hmm. what I'm it feels the same everywhere you go. So stick to the one that God has given you." I remember hearing that as a boy, and I said, "Well, that makes sense." So you say to yourself in the early days of your marriage. This is my woman, and this is my woman for life. And so we are going to find a way to enjoy our life, not just sex, enjoy everything yes. together, because this is not a 10-year contract. This is no. not a 20-year contract. No. This is a lifelong contract. So I am going to be determined to give it all. And once you have that, it will cover every area of your life, your sex mm. life and, and stuff like that. Uh, another problem that could be, you know, which which again I've heard that it's it's, it's broken homes. Even I, I've even I even heard of uh, a, a Christian couple that, that that separated supposedly because of that. And and this is because um, um, one one of the party uh, come too soon. Okay. So they have what they you have call premature, uh, premature ejaculation, ejaculation and, and and they just couldn't help themselves. Mm -hmm. But again. This can be treated. It can, yeah. You know? And I know many people will be going, I thought they were pastors. Why are they talking about medical treatment? God, <laughs> God is not against God's medical wisdom. treatment. Yes, God is yeah. giving us the wisdom to, yeah. to, 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 to you know, research and, yeah. and all, all of that. We're, we're, we're not saying seek medical treatment in absentia, meaning in, in the absence of, in the absence of, of uh, praying. You know, of course, pray, but seek medical help. You, you may even need to see, I don't know, whatever it is you need to see. Med the medical field it doesn't have to just be medical doctors, mm. but there is help for anything, you know. So don't bury it and don't let it bury you. Yeah, don't and do yes, it. don't let it take over your life. Yeah. That's another thing, isn't it? What, yeah. it when, when, once there's an issue, we allow it to take over our lives and yeah. we make that the be all and end all, and then you think your relationship is actually non existent mm. because of that. Thing. No, yeah. isolate the problem and deal with deal it. With but the problem. If you don't allow it to consume your whole relationship, that you cannot enjoy your relationship with your yeah. husband or your wife anymore because of one one issue. Yeah, you know? yeah. And, so, so, and something else, something a tip that will help you to to enjoy to enjoy your sex life is uh, um, you know you 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 have to you have to be careful that you don't get swamped by the business of life. Because life is very busy. Oh, yeah. And if we all go at 100, 100 miles an hour, you will have no strength to satisfy each other. You will not even have the emotional... The urge. Yeah, you will not even have the emotional capacity mm -hmm. because you're drained. Yeah. You're drained. I mean, when women say they're tired... They're, they're not lying. They're not lying. Well, I, I want to believe that they're not lying. No, most of the time they're not lying because, because if they've been to work, They've had to take care of the kids, they've had to cook, they've had to do this, they've had to do that. And they, they get into bed and you say, honey, you want to sleep? Yeah. Absolutely, I want, I want to, to sleep. sleep. That's what I want to sleep. <laughs> I want to sleep. That's what you I know? want to do. So we, we, we just need to be wise. And you, know, you, and you know something that you said that was not from my head when you were saying that, you know, in, 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 in when you want to get into the house, for example, and one of the parties, don't let me say man or woman, when one of the parties is not in the mood, guess what we do? The other part, the other party will help. I mm. by touching, you know, certain part of the body to get the other person in the mood. When you know that that's what you want, you want to have sex with your spouse. I don't know. Today, 
go out of your way hmm. to begin to help so them <laughs> before you get to the bedroom. Uh, you're telling them to just well, 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 you know, maybe don't if, if, if you allow them to wear them, even if they give in to you and do it. You, you, they, you will not enjoy because they're not they're, they're not strong. Just so, make it a habit of helping your wife. <laughs> even when you want but you know sex. what I mean. We we we'll talk about that. So yeah, we we have don't, because out. she won't. Yeah, she's not stupid. Of yeah. course, you'll know next time. <laughs> what, so what? So what? What does next, he want now? Next time you have said, right? Is there anything you want me to do for you? you say what do you want. I don't forget it. You're not getting any. <laughs> you can cook. You can clean. You can yeah, do everything, but, but you're not getting yeah, any. I'm sure they understand. <laughs> Yeah, no, but, but, and we should just be wise as well about how we manage our lives. You know, don't take on too much. Don't mm -hmm. take on so That's much. The point I'm trying yeah, to don't take on so much that you don't have time for what really matters. Mm -hmm. Some people take on so much they don't have time to serve God. Yeah. They take on so much they don't have time for family. Just be careful about mm -hmm. how you, you know, the commitments, the things yeah. you commit yourself to, because yeah. time really is the most precious. Yeah commodity is the most prized thing that we have Absolutely. so let's not crowd our lives with so much and then we think oh can't you see are you, are you trying to say me you can't yeah. see that this of course you're busy mm. but the question is should you be so busy that yeah. you don't have time for me yeah. that is the question yeah you know so let's just be yeah. wise and be and, careful and and and, and something something else that we and i know we're running out of time that there is that is worthy of discussion is ensure that you don't deny each other sex yes well, ensure ensure that you try finish, you know don't, don't deny each other sex because sex is such a big part of the relationship. i mean the bible says it isn't it it mm. says don't you know don't deny each other unless yeah. there's a reason so you're you're well, saying that fast to fasting to pray, is about the only one pray, that, you know, yeah. but then he says but well, come again come together again so that the devil doesn't yeah, have cause to that you and that's the point one you person know. Is, is upset and and yeah you know you you have to make sure that you don't deny each other there will be times, of course, that you know, honey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm just tired. That's fine, but don't let, don't make it a habit of denying your spouse. But also, also, let me say this: also, um, be 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 sensitive, because if you if you have upset your spouse, for example, and and I'll say this especially to the men: if you upset your wife, and you know your wife is your wife is upset, you haven't apologized to her, you haven't tried to make up. And then you get into bed and you want to make love to her and she's saying to you no and you're saying no you have to you have to submit you have to you can't deny yourself that, that's wrong mm. because she can lie there like a log and say okay have your way yeah. and you're not going to enjoy it mm. so you don't be, want that. yeah be sensitive if there's something that needs to be resolved resolve it if yeah. you need to say you're sorry because of something you did say you're mm. sorry yeah. get that over with because she's yeah. a human being Absolutely. she's not a, a machine to yeah. just switch on yeah. And switch off like that you yeah know? yeah and, and building up again not just for the act you know because we're talking about enjoying your, your, your sex life you know learn to do stuff together do stuff oh, well together. we talked about this last week last week yeah. you know you know so if so if, if you didn't watch that or if you didn't see it you watch that to watch holding yes. hands touching each other kissing each other you know dancing together having having fun together laugh together you know, just doing those things, and sex would just almost be the natural absolutely. consequence absolutely. Uh, of, of, of those things. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially for the men, don't always, don't always go for the jugular, as you say. <laughs> don't always go for it. You know, keep yourself. Let her come running after you instead. You know, just touch her. Yeah, and we just have to she's... wait for too long before we're <laughs> waiting for her to, to, to come up. <laughs> Tease her, you know. Tease her, you know? her, but don't don't always go for it. Pretend that you don't want it, mm. and she will. We're <laughs> she, not very good you're not very good at pretending, because <laughs> every part of your body would be betraying, betray your That's your true. pretense. <laughs> You guys can pretend nothing, nothing to show. Nothing for, to show. But for men, it's hard to pretend. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, thank you so much for joining in uh, the, on this program. Uh, and um, but we didn't get a lot. Of we didn't get. You know, today. Yeah. I hope well, it's not that you guys feel it's dirty for Christians to talk about sex. So you're I'm, just leaving. I'm sure. You're leaving it to pastors. You need their pastors. Let now. them do it. <laughs> but thank you very much for joining mm -hmm. us. If you watch the replay. Please feel free to ask your questions or to put your comments. We will still respond to them. And um, if you don't mind, please share the video. We want as many people to be blessed 
with these videos as possible. Yeah. And if you haven't liked our page, please like our page, Alternative Lifestyle, and the Family First page as well. We love you, we appreciate you, and we pray that God will continue to bless you and to uphold you. Remember everything that we've shared, we're talking about between a married man and a married woman, one, Absolutely. one, yeah? We're not talking about before marriage, you know, we're not talking uh, uh, between a man and a man, we're talking about biblical marriage. That's the marriage between a man and a woman. May the Lord bless you, bless your future, bless your presence, and bless your relationship. Shalom, shalom. God bless. Oh, Robin. Robin just joined us when we're saying <laughs> goodbye. Robin, watch the replay. Okay? Yes. <laughs> Love you, Robin. <laughs> <laughs>